we conducted a mass cattle exercise here at JTC, and that was to look at our operational and security readiness, but at the same time build our relationships with our Jordanian partners. The exercise tested in multiple factors, both our tactical response, the integration of our combined aid station, um, as well as our communication between both, both nation security forces. The reason why this is important to our soldiers is not only it builds our tactical and operational readiness, but it allows us an opportunity to work side by side with our Jordanian, our Jordanian partners here at JTC. So it's really one operation and we do, and security is the responsibility of both of us together. So it gives us an opportunity to build relationships, um, communicate, share our tactics, procedures, and to come together for a, a common operating procedure. The role of the aid station was to take in patients, um, starting with a triage point in the front of the aid station, triaging them according to injuries, and then processing through the actual aid station. After the soldiers with the simulated injuries entered into the aid station, we started to do our assessments, and I had two teams for medics to treat patients, and they would immediately go through their assessment. The first thing we always do is check our interventions, so whenever a patient is moved, you need to make sure that everything that maybe CLS did is still working, everything's still being controlled. Uh, after that, then we go into our real assessment, massive hemorrhaging, airway, respirations, circulation, and hypothermia. And within those is when we're controlling bleeding, we're you know, opening the airway, we are putting in IVs and practicing that kind of stuff during the exercise. We're thinking about medications, what medications can we do to help the soldier if they're in pain, those kind of things. And um, the biggest thing that we can help and treat is for shock. So we always put an emphasis on really making sure that we're gonna wrap them up and they're gonna stay warm um, throughout their whole evacuation process. Within the joint exercise, we had Marine soldiers that assisted us with the treatment of casualties. They do learn their own way, but we came together and figured out how to work as a team with them and they were really helpful for us. I think the benefits for the aid station was so that we could figure out how to work as a team, never actually doing an exercise like this together. We figured out what our, what our strengths and weaknesses were. So at the end of the day, we could figure out, you know, what kind of things can we change to make it even better than it was 